That's Canada's 150th anniversary. And for the next year, we Canadians are celebrating the sesquicentennial anniversary of Canadian Confederation. And you can't talk about the contributions of the Catholic Church in reference to Canada's 150th anniversary without first talking about the first Bishop of Toronto, Michael Powell. And we are here at St. Michael's Cathedral about to go down to the Crypt Chapel to meet with Cardinal Collins to talk about Bishop Michael Powell's legacy. Come on. Michael Power is the first bishop of the Diocese of Toronto. He is very, very important for all of us, not only because he was the first bishop, but because he very heroically gave his life in the service of the refugees who came to Canada in 1847, in the summer of 1847, from Ireland. And uh, he cared for them. He went down to the lakeshore of Toronto, uh, where they had what they call the fever sheds, where many of them had uh, typhoid. And um, so he cared for them day by day. He went out from the uh, cathedral rectory that he had built, and he himself uh, caught the disease and died October the 1st, 1847, at the age of 42. So he was very young when he died, and he'd only been a bishop for a few years. So he's a, he's a great hero for us because of the way he sacrificed his life for the people he served. It's very important for us to recognize the holiness of uh, Michael Power and to have him canonized because that helps people to know more and more about a person who gave his life for those who are most in need. And also to welcome people uh, who were desperate. Uh, he did that, he not only did he care for those Irish immigrants who came to Toronto in 1847, but he organized the whole town, which only had 20,000 people at that time, to receive 40,000 refugees. And uh, so that organizational gift that he had helped so many, many people. But basically he sacrificed his life for those who are most in need. And I think that needs to be celebrated.